Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to make another video about code smells. For those that haven't seen my previous videos, code smells are not bugs. They're just those things in your code that make your code harder to read, harder to understand, and harder to maintain. So today, the code smell I want to talk about is the long function. Now, long functions just happen, right? This isn't something that you plan. In general, when you're programming, you start out with simple, small ideas about what you're going to do, but functions tend to grow organically. You start out with something simple and you add a feature here and you add a feature there, and next thing you know, you have a three or four page function with all kinds of logic in it, and it becomes really a mess. Now, the problem with long functions is this. Because they're so long, you can't keep them all on the screen at once, and you can't really keep them in your head all at the same time. So in practice, what ends up happening, especially when you're hunting bugs, is you end up having to scroll up and down, and you're jumping up and down in your code, you're searching around a lot, and this is gonna slow you down, it's gonna make bugs harder to fix, and let's face it, programming is hard enough without making things harder for yourself. So the rule of thumb I wanted to share today is, is basically this, is that you really wanna try to keep your functions short enough that they can fit on the screen all at once. Short enough that you can have the whole thing right in front of you, you keep it in your head, the whole thing all at once, okay? And that's gonna keep things, it's gonna just help you as you reason about what that function does. A similar rule that you'll hear now and again is that you should keep your functions simple enough that you can always summarize what they do very quickly in one sentence. Now, that's a really great idea. I really like that and I advocate it. It may not be enough to keep your function short, but it'll definitely get you moving in the right direction. When you're following these rules, it's important to keep in mind that there's no magic length for a function. It's not like there's a cap at 20 lines or 50 lines or whatever. There's not a magic number here and it really is gonna depend on the problem you're trying to solve and the issues that your program is facing. The point is you wanna make your code as easy for you and others to understand as possible. Short functions help accomplish that, that task. Well-named functions also help accomplish that task. I have another video on naming. Please refer to that one for more information about, about picking good names for your, for your functions and identifiers and other things in your code. The point is we're trying to do things to keep your code simple and easy to read. Okay, so keep those functions short. That's actually all I have for today. In the principle of keeping things short, this video is gonna be very short. And so yeah, so that's it. You wanna keep your functions short and simple. And that'll save you time in the long run, keep your code easier to read, and you'll thank yourself for it. So until next time, I'll see you later. Hey folks, are you finding these videos useful? If you are, I hope you'll let me know by liking or subscribing. If there are things that you'd like to see more of, or if you have questions that you think I might be able to answer, please let me know. Post a comment, send me email, send a carrier pigeon, drop by my office, whatever. But please, yeah, let me know. If there are questions you have, if there are things you think I should cover, let me know and I, I'll see what I can do.